Dalton's atomic theory. We know that each and everything which we see around us is matter. Then a very usual question which comes in mind is what does matter made up of? And this question was first of all answered by a chemist John Dalton. And he said that the smallest particle is atom. That means everything, each and every form of matter is made up of atoms. And he published his ideas in a book, A New System of Chemical Philosophy in 1808 and that was known as Dalton's Atomic Theory. And the first postulate of this theory was the matter consists of indivisible atoms. As I just discussed, each and every form of matter is made up of atoms. Whether it is solid, liquid or gas, every form of matter consists of tiny atoms. And these atoms are indivisible. Indivisible means they cannot be broken down further. They are the smallest particle. They are the ultimate smallest particle. Nothing can be smaller than atom according, according to this postulate. The next postulate was all the atoms of a given element are identical. That means if I'm talking about the element gold, so all the atoms present in that element will be identical. They will be similar in mass and properties. They will be just identical to each other. While atoms of different elements differ in properties. That means all the atoms of gold are identical, but they differ from the atoms of silver or iron or any other element. So all the atoms of a given element are identical and the atoms of different elements differ in properties. Next postulate is compounds are formed by combination of atoms of different elements in fixed ratio. We know water molecule is formed by combination of two elements hydrogen and oxygen. So hydro atoms of hydrogen and oxygen combine in a ratio of 2 ratio 1. You can see here this is a water molecule in which, in which there is one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. So the ratio is 2 ratio 1. Atoms of different elements combine in a fixed ratio to form compounds. Compounds are formed by combination of atoms of different elements in fixed ratio. The final postulate was atoms are neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. What happens is the rearrangement of atoms. Atoms only rearrange and they do not they are neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Let's understand this with these two simple reactions. In first one, carbon is reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. So you can see there is one atom of carbon on reactant side and only one atom of carbon on product side also. Two atoms of oxygen on reactant side, so the two atoms of oxygen on product side. So nothing is created, nothing is destroyed. Only the rearrangement of atoms take place. Similar is the case with another chemical reaction in which four atoms of hydrogen on reactant side, four atoms of hydrogen on product side, two atoms of oxygen on reactant side and again two atoms of oxygen on product side. So at hydrogen, atoms of hydrogen and oxygen are combining to form water molecules. Again atoms are neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction only they rearrange. Let me finish with this.